I love Lilith, but I have to say, the show where Lilith comes back is the first time I ever met Lilith. Because like a lot of people of my generation, I watched Frasier before I watched Cheers. And I have to say, I'm actually a bigger fan of Cheers than I am of Frasier, although only marginally. But the point is, the f first time I met Lilith and watched this episode is very different to how I feel about this episode. And indeed, Lilith is a person now. And it makes a very interesting viewing, having now seen Cheers. This is the 16th episode of the first season of Frasier, directed by the fabulous James Burroughs. And needless to say, we have the return of Lilith, played by the wonderful B.B. Newworth. And I am a very, very big fan of Lilith. I can't quite remember what my initial thoughts for this episode were. Um, I feel like it was a reasonable introduction to the character if you've never met her before, which was the case for me. But absolutely, I got more out of this episode having since then watched Cheers. My advice, of course, being if you're a fan of Frasier but you've never watched Cheers, give it a go. You'll love it. The way Lilith was... For, was <laughs> it's so funny. The way Lilith was introduced in this episode was so unexpected. And it happened during the opening scene in Frasier's radio show. And I won't say exactly what the dialogue between them was or how abrupt exactly it was, but I loved it. And Roz's reaction was just so wonderful. I only wish we got to see Roz's reaction when she first screened the call from Lilith, because I imagine she would have been in complete shock and disbelief because Lilith is a bit of an enigma. And honestly, I, I love her to bits. And... Most of my thoughts here are spoilers, so I'll get in with those in a moment. But I will say I loved her dig at Maris because Lilith is not exactly the best wife. There were some good moments between Fraser and Lilith, but she's not exactly the most loving and giving. And for her to make a dig at how cold Maris is really goes to show how cold Maris is. And I just I enjoyed it. And Lilith smiles a lot in this episode. And it's just... It's so lovely to see the character again. Quite surprising that they brought her in quite so early, but I guess with the first season, they probably didn't know. I could be wrong. They could have commissioned the season, the show for a couple of seasons, but I imagine they didn't know at this stage that there'd be a second season. So fair enough to bring her in in the first season. Um, and the way Niles and, and Martin reacted with her, it's great to see those characters interacting. And I just absolutely loved it. And most of this episode is just Fraser and Lilith. Daphne, <laughs> Daphne had some brilliant lines. I won't spoil them by quoting any, but she had some brilliant, brilliant moments. And I guess everything else I have to say are spoilers for this episode. So um, I'll try not to spoil anything from Cheers, just in case you haven't seen that. So I won't talk about exactly what happened with their relationship or how it ended. Um, but... No spoilers for for this episode from now. I have to say, Lilith having her hair down, I thought was such a a lovely touch. It, it's something we see occasionally, and it's always a physical sign of her vulnerabilities or her trying to change or to get something that is not normally in her life. The fact that she and Fraser had a, a physical intimacy here, I thought was unexpected, uh, very well done, and the letter was. A really nice touch and uh, very well written, of course. And it just kind of, I can only imagine what that must have felt like for Lilith to find that letter and thinking it was more recent and then to go to Seattle. And I just thought it was a, a really nice way to bring them together, to show their vulnerabilities. Lilith crying and putting herself down. And I think Lilith has a lot of self-esteem issues, but over the years, she's built up this barrier that makes her come across as this strong, powerful, independent woman who doesn't need anybody, who doesn't need love or support because she gets all of that from internal. But when we see in this episode, she's just like everybody else. And I think it's a really beautiful way of showing that. I hate to see her upset because I love her. I love her, but I hate to see her upset. And it was really moving. And I love Lilith. I really love Lilith. I think it definitely is a good episode for showing the complexity of the character and the complexity of their relationship, which when you watch Cheers, you'll get to see a lot more of if you haven't seen Cheers yet. 
obviously Fraser does touch more on the relationship um both before this and going forward and I just I love the character so much and I'm so glad she'll be in the reboot uh, or the new the new the new Fraser because Fraser without Lilith just wouldn't be the same really really adore this episode the show where Lilith comes back is just golden if you're a fan of Lilith <laughs>